I wanted to stitch a creator on here that I absolutely love so bad. Her name is like T-I-S-I-A. I, -I, -I. I want to say it's Tisha, but that's probably wrong. But she has such like good big sister energy and like always gives such great advice when it comes to dating. And yesterday she posted a TikTok about how like essentially a man had asked her on a coffee date, but she redirected his focus to like wanting to go to restaurant week and she got exactly what she wanted out of the interaction. That was like such just such a mastermind when it comes to like getting what you want and being direct about it. And I respect and love women like this so much. And we need more of them because women like me, I'm not doing it. I'm so sorry. This is a woman. This is a woman who's more than likely never going to get what she wants. Because this is a woman who thinks she is too good for coffee dates. But in reality, she's not. This is a woman that wants to get everything without putting in any effort. Stay tuned because we're going to talk about it. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And without further ado, you know what we're going to do. We're going to roll that clip. And it also revealed to me, like, why I'm single, because there's women like that who actually, like, have the patience to do it. Oh, shit. Because me... If a man asks me on a coffee date, I'm automatically good off of them. Like, I don't even have the energy and, like, the patience to, like, sift through and really be like, actually, like, that's not what I want to do. Can we do this instead? I'm good on it. I'm good on it. It automatically just gives me, like, I'm trying to see how little I can get away with to get the maximum effort out of you. And if your first instinct is to take me out for coffee... I'm good. There's actually nothing else we need to talk about. And I feel like that low effort is going to manifest in other ways. Like, I never want to be the exception to someone's dating standards. Like, okay, yeah, you got what you wanted out of that interaction. But like, you know that like, every woman that he talks to, essentially, he's gonna test it out first and see like, can I get away with just like taking her out for coffee or taking her to get ice cream or taking her on a walk? Like, let's see if she gonna budge. See, here we have exhibit A. An entitled woman, yet again, who feels that she is too good for a coffee day. <laughs> and I'm noticing a trend in this new year is that a lot of women don't like coffee dates. Not only do they not like coffee dates, they don't want coffee dates. They don't like coffee days. And see, here's the kicker. It's not that a woman doesn't like a coffee day or want a coffee day. This is what women are trying to do. They're trying to get by with the least amount of effort, but yet they want the most amount of time. They don't want a man to, to know that they're just going to give him the least amount of effort possible. And see, what this woman is trying to do is she's trying to get a man to give her more than he's willing to give. And see, a lot of these women think that they're playing games and they're working and they're they think that the games that they play are actually working. And if you look at what this woman says, she's saying, I want to do what this other woman did, where she was offered a coffee date and she turned it away and got the guy to get to take her to a new restaurant. <laughs> And yesterday she posted a TikTok about how like essentially a man had asked her on a coffee date, but she redirected his focus to like wanting to go to restaurant week and she got exactly what she wanted out of the interaction. And she got exactly what she wanted out of the interaction. And she got exactly what she wanted out of the interaction. You see, this it's over for women in 2024. We're not doing that. 
If you don't want to go on a coffee date, if you don't want to go to the park, if you don't want to go out to eat at a decent restaurant, not too expensive, but not too cheap, if you think Olive Garden and Applebee's and Chili's is bad for the first date, I'm sorry, you will be alone. You get nothing. You lose. If you want, if you want to play in the date, if you want to tell us where we're going to go, if you want to tell us where we, where we're going to eat, then you pay. Got them. We fucking got them. <laughs> About that. Because we live in a world now where women are basically 304s. You're trying to get a man to pay the most amount of money for the least amount of effort. What is that? A 304. Yep. A prostitute. You're using men for money under the guise of, I want to go out on a date. I want to go out with you. No, you don't. You just want our money, our resources, our time, our energy. That's what you want. You want to get a man and you provide the least amount of work possible. You know why women don't like coffee dates? Because you are out of your element on a coffee date. You are out of your element because you actually have to talk. You actually have to care. You actually have to pay attention. You have to listen to your date and listen to what they're talking about. And pay attention. When you're out at this five-star restaurant, you don't have to pay attention to your date. You can just eat food and leave. And get a doggy bag and go home. And today's modern woman is no different than the 304s of society where they're looking to pay to play but they want the man to pay, and then the woman doesn't want to play. This is, again, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This is the reason why men are going overseas. This is the reason why entitled women are not winning. This is the reason why, because we're tired of the entitlement. Hashtag tired of the entitlement. We don't like it when women act a certain way, because they don't deserve the treatment. You see, we're vetting a woman when we take her out to a low cost or low expensive day. Ladies, don't you know that a lot of people that have been married for 15 and 10 plus years, their first date was a low cost or a free date? Maybe they went to the park. Maybe they went to the county fair. Maybe they went to ice skating. Maybe they went to rollerblading. Maybe they went to a museum or a free art gallery. But why are you trying to make a man pay when you aren't making the decision on where to go? He is. And this is why it's important for men to really know who you're dating. Know who you're going out with. Know who you're taking out. Because if you vet a woman correctly, you will avoid 90% of the BS. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! 90% of women can be weeded out just by talking to them. Because a lot of these women have zero conversation skills. They don't know how to talk to a man. They don't know how to put down, they don't know how to put their phone down for five seconds and actually have a decent conversation. And now, men are hip to it. We know the game. We're testing you. We're vetting you. And a lot of you women, y'all ain't passing. And that's why you're still single. Yep. So to the women I'm saying, you can either shape up or you can just be single. 
Because what you won't do, the next woman will. That's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click on that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And I will be going live next week on Wednesday night at 6.15 p.m. And we're going to be talking about modern women. What is going on in the dating market? So don't forget to check me out next Wednesday night. If you missed the last live, it is on my channel. Go check it out. I will link that live in the description. And until the next video, peace.